Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the classroom. Happy Monday. I hope you all are doing well. Had a good weekend. Ready to sharpen your skills a little bit with a, with a good old still life study. When in doubt, do a still life study. Uh, but before one can do an effective study, one has to have some music. So, yeah. <clears throat> So if you are watching and you want to join along, you are most welcome. You can check the stream description below and you'll find all the information for how to, how to join. You'll have to join the Magma Classroom art space first. And then from there, you'll be able to come along to the canvas, follow the link over. Okay, music's going, hopefully not too loud. Hey, Andy, hey, Wens, Burning Phoenix, Decker, Radek. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. So there are two images here, pretty much the same subject, just with a different lighting scenario. So if I bring this up, this one's going to be a nice woodier, earthier color scheme, which is quite nice. I really like the, the rich orange in here with this with the snake. Uh, but if you want to play around with some fun color combinations, then this looks this looks like a good one. I kind of like this. The red light. This was just grabbed off the of the interwebs, and is only for the purpose of study. Keep that in mind. Um, yeah, any no particular rules to point out. You should all have Blaze active, so you can make use of the texture brushes if you want to, and that's pretty much it. So just for those who might be new, hey Basil Make Vinegar. Um, I'll briefly chat about things I'm looking at when doing a study like this. Let's pick a decent color. Maybe teal will stand out nicely. Um, first thing, I'm just gonna switch it to grayscale because it makes, makes things a little easier to start when, uh, when assessing things. So first thing I wanna look at is just shapes, how this all sits together. Uh, if I'm looking at, if I'm trying to replicate this exactly, and uh, we can see that, you know, if, whoa, that's a bit strong. Let's rather get a thinner brush. We have this sort of halfway point where things just sort of extend over. If we were to divide this in half, we can just see how it, the different shapes are distributed. Here we have a bit of a triangle shape for this this horn or well, not the horn for the skull sorry we have a rectangle for our bottle and a pretty much square on top let's connect like that if we're just breaking things down to simple shapes if you're new just keep it simple start off looking at those broader shapes and then you can kind of get in all the other little details that are there we've got this book over here a little bit of perspective so just those little things to, to look at. Try and divide things up, keep the shape simple. You might also want to look at just the little relationships between things. So when I zoom in over here, sure I divided this up, but we have just noticing, whoa, okay, iPad doing weird things. Uh, we have this little triangle shape that's next to the top section of, of the bottle. It's a little something to look at half moon type of thing going around over there. Another triangle, almost, over here for the nose. It's all these different things that you can that you can look for. I've done this all on a separate layer, which is good. Let's shift my view back to grayscale. There we go. I'm working on two different devices here, so bouncing around. There are no real rules here, just that um, I'd say stick to stick roughly to the to the subject. You can approach this in your kind of way. If you want to go realistic, you can. If you want to go more stylized, more sort of comic book like, or um, even if you want to go sort of editorial illustration uh, look, thing, that's that's fine. Uh, just keep it to to the subject matter and use this time to try and sharpen sharpen your skills. So to start off here. What I'm going to do is squint my eyes 
and no hat today yeah i have oh here's my hair i was looking at my hairband because i had to put a hairband in first and then put my hat on yeah. letting my hair down feeling wild feeling wild so let's just apply that to my brush strokes <laughs> i'm gonna squint my eyes and just look at what sort of colors we have here not gonna color pick from the uh, from the reference but one can use you know your color picker to try and assess where things like how saturated are they uh, where do they kind of sit in the, on the on the value scale uh, do things get warmer or cooler when you go into the light and the shadows uh, but don't actually color pick from it i do urge you to to not do that take the time to try and find the colors so let's see here. we've got the overall scene is this this blue that is let's put my screen a little bit brighter uh, huh. so the challenge of doing things the way i'm doing them is you can't see me picking the colors on this profile but that's fine and i'm going to with a broad brush let's make it a bit bigger and just sort of fill in a space i could do this with a lasso <clears throat> with a lasso fold probably much quicker And there's different light interacting here as well. Uh, so I'm not going to apply universally this sort of idea of uh, maybe cooler shadows in, in this scenario uh, because we've actually got this warm red light coming in as well. So, and then also kind of what, this is probably a cooler light that's lighting up our, our bottle and the, um, and the snake. So in some some situations the lighting is going to the shadow is going to be a bit more a bit more towards the warm and saturated um, and in some parts it's going to be a bit on the it's going to have a bit of a cooler tone to it so yeah as Andy said you can also go at this in grayscale might make things a little easier to start just to get your values right first And I'm not quite approaching this the way I want to. Let's um, squint them eyes, find this red. Hmm. It's a bit hotter than that. Just kind of want to like block in where things are situated. I'm not worried about getting the shapes immediately right. Because I'm going to draw over this. Let me put this yellow. This is such an interesting yellow. Uh, is it this? No, it's a little kind of close to that. Kind of blend things in a little bit. Got this dark book that comes across. I'm just trying a different approach here. The Ozan boy, what's the session about? Lights, objects, shadows? All of it. It's about all of it. So we're just doing a study. Um, Kind of playing around a little bit with the the color primarily I'm trying to get things as accurate i suppose if you want to be more realistic about things to the to the reference material not specifically instructing on anything but just uh i'm here to guide if needs be But you can kind of focus in on a particular element that you want to use this for. Uh, so if lighting is a big 
struggle for you and you don't want to quite go into the color side of things, then just go in grayscale. Ah, this iPad. Jeez. I think I've, I've mentioned it several times, this uh, static charge issue that the iPad gets, or at least the this generation of it, drives me blooming bonkers. This causes a sort of um, touch points triggered in multiple random places across the, the canvas. Anyway, irrelevant, irrelevant, Ryan, irrelevant. Brush am I using? Oh, I'm using just a normal round brush. Let's get something a bit more textured. things a little bit. A separate layer. Yeah, different. Going with something just a bit different from what I normally do. What better space to do this in than in the classroom? Portable digital drawing. I'm a big fan of the Surface Pro. Yeah, didn't they? They just brought out a, a new Surface Pro model, didn't they? As well. Oh, it's internet. Weird. Anyway, fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite eager to check out the the newer versions with the the pencil hover, I need to put that to the test. But I haven't tried a Surface laptop. Just seen some good things though. On the Pro, on the specifically. And if anyone's joining over on YouTube, you're welcome to come and draw with us. Just check the stream description. It's all, all the info is there. And if you're on Twitch, then let me know because I'll have to I'll have to put the links in. Of extra canvases just in case we get more people joining. 
So if you do join, just check down below. There are a whole lot of canvases available. Or I'll look for an empty one. Look for an empty one. Ah, starting to see some updates in the thumbnails there. You guys are going for it. Looking good. Started early, nice. Glad we have some eager folks <laughs> coming through to the classroom. Get my early start. I don't know, have we, I can't remember if we've done a, a still life study since changing the the timing to about two hours but i felt like doing this anyway would, would be nice to have a little extra time maybe do one of these type of studies every month it's just like a normal a normal still life i do quite enjoy them you know, it's not to everyone's liking <laughs> but hopefully you guys don't mind I'm really just trying to look at shapes if anyone is watching. I'm not trying to get like an accurate sketch at first. I kind of just want to drop in paint and then figure it out as I go. So it's going to be, it's going to be messy. It's going to be incorrect or inaccurate, should I say, or not incorrect. The record player. Aha, so that would have been World of Dragons. It was one hour. Yeah. <laughs> that one was tricky. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's fine. I'm not very good at colors either. That's why I'm, I suppose that's why I'm doing this. At least the, um, yeah, so I'll go to do grayscale or, or maybe take a look at the, the other image where the, the colors are a little closer together. The sort of warm browns. Whoops, wrong layer, let's hide that. Oops, that's definitely not what I wanted. Bring Phoenix down for whatever, whatever challenge comes her way. Well done on pretty much, you did a sword every day for, for Sword Timber, right? Or you nailed all the prompts. Couldn't, I think you said you couldn't do, do every day. But that is impressive to make it through the month. And now into Inktober. <laughs> See the magma hoods come alive with Inktober. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I remember. And how do you feel about the challenge having having got through it all? Yeah. Do you feel kind of tired after doing doing all of that? 
as some people have said with the likes of Inktober, that they're pretty exhausted by the end of it. Which is totally understandable. <laughs> Ready for a break from swords. Okay, axes then. <laughs> On you go. <laughs> or potion bottles. Yeah, I want to try and do at least a couple of Inktober prompts. I can't can't let it pass me by every year like it has been recent. Well, recently, recent years. <laughs> yep, good skull. I, mean, I figured with it being going into October, everyone getting all spooky. That, uh, yeah. Why not get a skull involved in this? Definitely notice with darker darker scenarios like this, the changes in subtle changes in value make such a big well, actually in any scenario, but the subtle changes in value make such a big difference. Mostly digital now. Yeah, digital inking is is fine. I remember at one point there was a bit of a bit of debate around whether whether it counts if you do if you do digital digital inking but I think that's kind of losing losing the point a little bit um, well maybe not I mean we're going to see the ink work But I mean, if you're doing like digital, digital inks, digital watercolors, washes and stuff, then just saying, oh, well, it's, it's digital. The main thing is the, for me, I think is pushing the ideas, challenging yourself to think of something every day, outputting, being consistent. That's probably the bigger, the bigger challenge in all of it. But yeah, some people get a little crazy. That's cheating.
But I mean, it did start as a challenge for someone with using their, like using a brush pen. Oh, came with a fountain pen, nice. Time half an hour in, cool, cool. Things are off to a good start. Shift music tracks here. Shifts a bit more towards orange. Haha. <laughs> Going full traditional for Inktober this time around. Don't the, um, I've got a Micron uh, brush pen, what's not Micron, is it Sakura, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere here, but that brush pen was really nice. Definitely a challenging control, because the change in, uh, the change in pressure that you're applying makes such a big difference. brush pen. Yeah, white papers. White papers not fun.
Yeah, that ability to erase, the mis erase mistakes can kind of be difficult to let go of. A cool exercise, and something I'd be meaning to try, is um, with if you find someone who works in ink, whose line work really blows you away, is to print out, okay, it doesn't have to be printed if you're going to wear it digital, but you're going to go traditional, print it out, and then with tracing paper, with your brush paint, try and, this is really just an exercise in trying to capture their pen control, because that's the main thing with the, with the brush pen, um, and trying to like go over their lines, but mimic the, the shift in pressure, and maybe the angle of the brush as well, or the brush pen. I've always kind of said, oh, I really want to do this with like the like Kim Jong Gi's work. Try and just get some of those that amazing variation between the like, neat line, but then also the sort of smudged um, smudged texture that he brings into it. I actually think um, Jake Parker has a video, on the, uh, not a video, like some material and maybe a video as well on, on exactly that with some of his drawings as a get ready for Inktober sort of content where you provide some some drawings and then the idea is that you, you trace over them just to train your, your, brush, your brush control. I think it's a really cool approach. There's also some red coming off of here. I'm just gonna get that. So our clubhouse theme on Wednesday is Strange Garden. I have no idea what I'm going to bring to that. But it's a good one for, for October. This was done this was done traditionally and then you're taking it over into rebel or did you have you done this whole thing digitally i'm, just, I'm assuming it's done digitally yeah okay
Yeah, it's very really cool. Very cool indeed. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. You're here to learn. I like how you brought in this uh, this character on the on the top right, adding little spooky things. <laughs> this is all about learning, so don't go bashing yourself. about gradually getting better, putting in the time, gaining the XP, going on a quest, gain a little extra XP. The idea is never perfect painting in the, in the classroom. Interesting question. What does hard light do as opposed to the color layer? I it's gonna depend on which colors you're using. I, I hardly ever used layer modes, so I can't even tell you how exactly they work differently from one another. Usually with the with the color layer, it's applying color at the same wherever you've got your hue set, it's applying the same sort of like value that's already underneath it when you go grayscale, but I think the I've never actually applied hard light onto a grayscale layer. The thing is with going with that grayscale to color, <clears throat> that approach is that it's always a, it's kind of a starting point. It's never, it's never, well, not a starting point. It's, it's a layer, but it's not, it doesn't, you don't keep working into a color layer to, to finish it. You work on top of it with a normal layer. So it's a step in the process. As I understand it, anyway, that's about how I've seen Jews. Yeah, green maps are great. I'm sure that's going to be a fun one for our dev team to to play with when the time comes. I think we have gradient maps requested on our in our feature request channel, which you can get to through the the edit. No, sorry, the uh, help menu on the canvas. You can go to uh, request feature, and then we have a list of all the features everyone has has put in so far. You can go upvote certain ones or add your own. I think I actually added the gradient maps. I'm going to go have a look. Whoops. <laughs> I 
Decker still wants to blow and, br and blend. We got flitting in and out here. If we go darker in here. Dina flipping back and forth and popping in and out of the canvas. This is overall much darker as well. I suppose I'm more or less at that point now where I can start refining details. Get neat about things. just tuning in on YouTube or on Twitch, you're not too late to join. You can check the stream description or drop a comment over in the stream chat. I'll sort you out for the link.
seems like a weird green in there. It's interesting. I had originally planned to work on more layers for this piece, just as part of a different approach, but that didn't happen. Stuck to the old one layer, one layer approach. A little bit more of this purple in here. So yeah, we're coming close on our first hour. Got another hour to go. If you want to stick to that time limit, of course. Can spend more time if you want to. Get to just zoom out every now and then, make your canvas nice and small. Get a get a sort of bird's eye view of your piece. See if you're on the right track. Strengthen some of the contrast to the left of my my ram skull there.
for the music. Oh, I'm just seeing my thumbnail of my face at the moment. <laughs> it's so blue under my neck. Anyway, just weird things I'm noticing. Ah, oh, I was so bleak last night. I was busy watching, at last, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And for some reason, midway through, internet cut out, and w once I got set back up, the movie was no longer listed on on um, Disney Plus, so I couldn't continue watching. But I was I was enjoying it, and I just said no, no more. Yeah, I was enjoying it. I did have uh, one one minor gripe, and that was with the music. Actually, there were just too many. Too often, I felt like they were starting off with the the funky music, which I know is a, been a big part of Guardians. But I just felt like it was a teeny bit, a teeny bit too much. Not enough to like really bother me. I was trying to remind myself of what actually happened in uh, in the last Marvel Universe movie. Oh yes, oh yes, it was Thanos. That whole that whole thing. So like, why is why is Cool so bleak drinking? So I'm going to change my colors too much. I was quite excited that I got uh, Multiverse of Madness on the plane. But I think maybe watching that on the on such a tiny screen left me a little a little underwhelmed. Maybe I need to give it another try. 
the larger screen. Small screen and rubbish headphones. I'm gonna have to get one of those little adapters that uh, Bluetooth that you can connect your Bluetooth headphones to in the plane. I think it's 12 South that have such a device. Yeah, first hour is done. Plenty more to go. All right, so that didn't, whatever I just did was very wrong. Very incorrect. I said very wrong. It might sound like I've done something that is unacceptable by modern society. Quite accepted. Wop, wop, wop. Ray don't like how I did the top of this bottle. I don't know if this is. One of made the horns too high. So we can drop those down. Bottle's meant to be taller, I think. Let's see if I can adjust this. Very neatly. Now we can fix up. Now we can fix up.
Hey, when's cool? Oh. On the, on the stream. Meanwhile, he's just said that he's not listening to the stream. Sort of quick little look at how everyone's doing. Wow. Nice. Digging that lined, that sketchy lined approach. Nice. All done. Cool, Andy. Great job. Great job. And this was Wins. Super cool. Yeah, capturing the heat on the of the light on the, on the top of the skull quite well. Nice setting up the color palette first. Good stuff. Also, here you captured that heat really nicely. I was battling with that. Great work, Decker. So you decide to go for the color after all. Basil make vinegar, nice textured, textured background. That snake's looking good. Getting that warmth and that transition in the shadow. Very nice, very nice. Then we got Everest here too. Finally, my thumbnail on the sequence panel updates. Looking great. Colors are on point. We got Adina. Hello. Cool, looking good, looking good. These ones were empty canvases. Color with the multiply layers, okay. A right X piece. Ah, oh, coming along really well. Nice, so yeah, I wanna get those, the string around the, the neck done properly. Fantastic work, everyone. Let's keep going.
Let's change the track there. Okay, left over. A little woman. Yeah.
let's see. So my uh, video might be a little bit, a little bit choppy. Unfortunately, that is the way the cookie is currently crumbling. Come on, I have to do the things I need to do. Yeah, there goes the camera again. So how is the audio? If it's just my video. I see Windows was also doing its sneaky update when I don't ask it to thing. Okay, cool. So long as the audio is fine. Nothing worse than stuttery audio. Video can be all over the place, but if the audio is doing stuff, and it just makes me angry. It's not quite a black line that moves through there, but more of a dark, dark brown line. It's a sort of cavity. Another book. Yeah, this is resting on the background. Thank you. 
suppose my dodgy internet connection most of the time makes a good case for uh, getting some other streamers on here. <laughs> getting some other people to manage this. I think part of the problem here is that I've made this bottle too wide on this side compared to where the neck is. It gets to a point where you almost want to start to uh, almost going block by block, like setting, setting things into little areas where then you start focusing, getting all the details as accurate as you can. I think if you've taken your own, your own photos, your own reference, and you know where you want your focal point to be, start zoning in to those parts in particular.
Oh, there goes the camera again. <laughs> Come on, music. Jam already. Creaky table, creaky table. So either the music is playing and I just can't hear it because my internet's bad, or it's not executing the actions when I tell it to because the internet is bad. Could be either one of them. Let's see if I can switch back. Real pain in the butt. Oops, that was probably pretty loud on the microphone, sorry. Okay, back in business, I guess. Section needs to shift a little bit. I must go, it's blue. I think this, this lighter side of the underbelly of the of the snake. It's got a blue to it. Just most just desaturation.
Thought of another piece, but inked. Cool. Just over 20 minutes remaining. Thank you. 
audio takes such a long time to recover if I switch over to, to Discord for a moment to check things. Whoa, that's definitely not the brush I wanted. If you're just tuning in over there on YouTube, you're catching us pretty close to the end. But if you want to challenge yourself with 20 minutes to knock out this, this still life, why not? It almost makes me want to take a crack at it for 20 minutes. Refresh one. Now, after having done the the starter, the starter course. No, I would, I would not do this. How oh, my nose is a you? So how are you guys feeling about, about this piece or the subject? What, the subject and your result. Done too and enjoyed it. Cool. Definitely going to need to work on my speed, but then I think I say that every time. Every time.
Yeah, for sure. Just know I am with my <laughs> with my own pieces. Just I do take a little too long on my decision making. But obviously you don't want to rush things. It's rather rather a matter of just being more efficient. My decisions.
Are you working on a pixel version of this? Nice. I'm keen to see how that turned out. It's fun to take the same subject and, and try and render it in different different styles. Almost an entire different medium. Let me go into pixel. You're going to add animation too? Interesting. I want to... Let's do this. just want to find the source for this image. I can't get the exact photo now. Other variations of it. Da, 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 da.
Stretch just doesn't show the user's account name. Anyway, they've got some variations of the same image over on Adobe Stock. Of the same image. Sorry, I posted it twice because I am a fool. No, my internet was just being delayed. That is all. Starlight asking, do I listen to Metallica? Hells yes. I do. Though it has been a little while since I've, since I've listened to some. I know it's not one of their best albums, but Saint Anger was one of my uh, was in my ears all the time during high school. Whoops, what's going on? There we go. I do frequently go back to the um, to the Black album, and has mixed mixed feelings on on that one by some people, but I do thoroughly enjoy it. I'm assuming you do as well, and that's why you asked, Starlight. Well, since my internet is messing around as we come up on the last minutes of the stream. Let's take a little look at how everyone's been doing. If my pages will load in good time, let's see. Let us see. Great work here, Andy. Slow loading, slow loading. This is Wens. Really cool. I like how he broke out of the out of the frame here. Extending that horn. Seeing as Burning Phoenix, your the thumbnail has been updating for me, so it's a little surprise. Ah, oh, awesome. Great job. That string has done really well. That looks great. Tick. Hick, tick. And next we have... came back it came back but still not really connecting 
So I'm going to call it there because uh, technology is not cooperating with me anymore. Telling me to call it a night. So thank you very much, everybody. This was good fun. Uh, nice challenge indeed. Two hours on this. Our next stream is on Wednesday. Well, this music's quite loud, isn't it? Has it been this loud the whole time? Um, we're going to be doing Strange Vegetable Garden, or Strange Garden, doesn't have to be vegetables. Uh, it could be fruits. It could be dodgy herbs, dodgy spiky herbs. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a good one. And you will also soon see the schedule for this month's streams go up on our Discord server, in the announcements channel. I'll be sharing that shortly. So yeah, otherwise, hope you all have a fantastic Fantastic week, and I'll chat to you all again very soon. Ciao for now.